Geo 1001 introduces a new rolling ball option in the offset feature. It allows to offset entire quilts or individual surfaces more easily in situations that could not be offset previously. In cases where the offset operation using the standard normal to surface option fails or where it requires exclusion of many surfaces, you can now try the new rolling ball offset method. It can improve the chances to successfully offset surfaces in cases such as the following. Number one, situations in which the offset result requires geometric topology changes. This is illustrated in this example, showing the creation of inner shell surfaces. For smaller offset dimension values, standard offset provides the expected result very fast. As offset values increase, some surfaces start to become excluded. Switching to the rolling ball option solves the task for a wider range of offset values as shown here. The second type of situations involve surfaces that contain high curvature areas for which the corresponding minimum curvature radius is smaller than the offset value. This is shown in the demo using a simple single surface offset example. Depending on the selected geometry, the mathematical offset calculation might result in surfaces containing geometric singularities along with single-sided edges. Use the new patching option to automatically approximate the area around one or multiple singularities by residual rounds or droplets as shown with the orange round here. On the handle example, you can see the very fast initial offset results for small offset values using the default normal to surface offset option, which is typically the best start. As the offset value increases, the elliptically shaped dent containing a high curvature groove starts to be excluded. Switching to the new rolling ball option enables you to offset this high curvature surface. Note that feature preview is automatically turned off upon switching to improve interaction performance. You can use the round patching option to patch around the singularities. As the offset values further increase, the singularities might gradually move out and it can happen, as in this case, that they even disappear. In that case, patching could be turned off again. Increasing the offset dimension even more to a value of 8, we see that one of the corner surfaces of the conical round can no longer be offset. In this case, the rolling ball offset method automatically offers a special handling, like the one known from previous offset methods, which excludes the indicated surface from the offset operation. When we look at even bigger offset values, such as 11, we see that the geometric result allows us to remove the excluded surface from the special handling collector again. At the same time, new surface areas show up that might require patching. This is first illustrated with the round option and then with the droplet option. Note that the geometric situation requires the droplet radius to be increased in this case, so droplets could be formed on both sides. The new rolling ball option for the offset feature in Creo 1001 helps you to offset high curvature geometry more easily. While it is not yet optimized for offsetting larger complex quilts, it can help you to create offsets more easily for smaller quilts if standard offset options can't provide the expected result.